So uh, the important first thing to get going on is to make sure you have a beverage and a bit of good music. Uh, my music today is Alberta, Alberto and the Fried Bikinis. <laughs> He's got a kind of a definite Mexican Southern Hemisphere vibe, so we're going to go with that. Um, and then the beverage of choice while you're making this should be something made with tequila, but really any drink that you prefer to have in the summertime. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I make my stuff. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start off with uh, with a lime. I've got this wizened up old lime, but I can use the lime to get the glass all nice and lubed up. You can see I'm putting an open text glass to good use. A little bit of a little bit of salt, ideally like uh, a bit of uh, rock salt would be good. Not rock salt. What am I talking about? Sea salt. And then uh, get a few ice cubes. Today's beverage is going to be made to you by Espanola Tequila. Pour yourself a liberal dose of that. It'll help the rest of the festivities. I don't have any lime juice, but I also like... Uh, a bit of tropical punch or uh, fruit juice. Bob's your uncle. Oh yeah. Is this how Julia Childs does it? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next part. Uh, I've got the rice started. I'll show you that in a minute. And uh, I'll show you the rest of the ingredients now. All right, the first uh, food that we're gonna cook is some arborio rice. Uh, you can use any kind of rice you want, but uh, I like arborio rice. It tastes kind of nutty. And uh, to get that started, I'm just gonna put a bit of oil in the pan. Get that going, we got it on uh, medium heat, medium high, that kind of thing. And we're gonna put the rice into the oil and I'll kind of get it all okay so I don't know if you can see it but when they get to the right stage they kind of have a little bit of brown going on not a lot this is a this is about six ounces of uh, about six ounces of rice and about nine ounces of water I bring that to a boil and then when it comes up to a boil then turn it down to a minimum and put a lid on it Okay, so here's an overview of some of the ingredients you're gonna need. The good news about this recipe is it's a, it's a kitchen sink recipe. You can kind of put in whatever you want. Um, and I'll kind of cover off the things that you really wanna focus on. So in my mind, it's really important to get uh, lots of cilantro. Uh, it's awesome. So you're gonna need cilantro for sure. You're gonna need onions for sure. Um, you're gonna need some salsa of some sort. I use, I use the, uh, this salsa like the red salsa on the top of it uh, when they're done. And I use this stuff in the uh, making of the guacamole and um, and put it also on top of the, the uh, burritos when they're going. Um, you're gonna need some avocados because you're gonna need to want to make some guacamole and they go on the top of the uh, burritos as well. Um, and I put sour cream in my guacamole. Uh, you can use uh, a meat or a meat substitute. We use uh, this stuff here, it's a soya-based um, fake meat. It's like fake ground beef, but uh, you can use ground beef or you can use chicken. Chicken's actually really good in it. Um, and then everything else I throw in just because I like the stuff. So this this is just a uh, corn cob stuff. And then you've got, um, you've got some red beans. I actually usually use black beans, but I don't have any. So I'm gonna use red beans. I'm gonna throw in some zucchini and some uh, orange peppers. 
And um, I also throw a bit of feta in with the um, guacamole. That's kind of fun. Gives it a little spice. And then you're gonna need some cheddar. Uh, and you can either shred it yourself or you can buy shredded stuff. You need some flour tortillas. And uh, my favorite go-to hot sauce is uh, Frank's Red Hot. It's a Louisiana hot sauce. So cayenne peppers and that kind of stuff. But you can use whatever kind of spicy or spicy-ish, you know, depending on how much you like. Uh, pepper. Okay, so I'm gonna go and uh, make some stuff, so I'll show you along the way. Okay, so I started by uh, cutting up some onions and uh, cut up the zucchini and uh, the peppers and mushrooms too. So I like them in little bite size, but having them small, you can, uh, you don't have to uh, work as hard when you're opening up the burrito. And this is the uh, faux meat, so I'm just gonna get that all mixed in with the onion. We'll add in the other stuff too. Okay, so this is what it looks like all mixed together. I'm gonna add the other stuff now too. Okay, so that's the other stuff in it. Um, that's on about medium heat. And uh, now I'm gonna add in the, uh, the beans and the corn and stuff. And we have a left. All right, and then we're gonna add in some, uh, add in some cumin and some uh, ground pepper and some uh, red hot, Frank's red hot sauce. So things are simmering along nicely, so you keep going with that. Uh, you can um, simmer that for a while, get it nice and warm. And then uh, I'm working on some coriander. Coriander is amazing. Um, I like to cut it up with this uh, cool knife called an ulu. It's uh, seized by uh, um, First Nations, well, it's actually Innu um, Canadians. And uh, I'll just chop it up like that. But it doesn't matter what knife you use. The idea is that you're just going to get it chopped up. So I put in the, uh, the coriander. We'll mix that in in a second. So the next thing is um, tomatilla sauce. So, so this makes a really nice um, addition to the inside. So you throw this in, kind of like that kind of quantity. It's okay to get liberal. All right, we're gonna mix it in. So we're gonna add in our cheese now. And uh, this will make the insides nice and gooey. We're gonna mix that in. So it's looking really fabulous. So uh, we started our rice earlier. I give it a chance to cook. So now that that's cooked, we're gonna add that in too. We're gonna mix it in. So this is where we're at so far. Uh, so we got the rice in there and all the other ingredients for the inside. So that's the that's the guts of the burrito. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, uh, is kick in our we're gonna kick in our oven to about 400. Okay, and uh, what we're gonna do is take the next step and uh, oil up the tortillas. So you wanna oil up the tortillas just a little bit. This keeps them from getting uh, too crunchy when you bake them. So you put just a little bit of oil on and then take two tortillas and rub them together. You just get that shiny look. And usually you can get a couple of tortillas oiled up that way. Like that. Okay, so now we're gonna actually fill these things. So this could be a bit of a trick because this is kind of a two-handed exercise, but I'll see what I can do. Um, so essentially you want to take the oiled side down and then you want to take a scoop of our delicious interior. And put that in there like that. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. I'm gonna try and hold this on my chin, see if this works.
Yeah, that's what it looks like. So there's eight of them. That's how much that uh, full pan of stuff yeah. makes up. So that's a that's kind of our finished yeah. product as far as the burrito itself. But then now we're gonna put some topping on it. My videography skills here kind of suck. So spread it on. I'll uh, take a pause here and finish that and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's what they look like when you got the sauce on them and or the salsa. And now we're gonna put on some avocados. Okay, so we got all the avocados on. So what I like to do is put a little bit of cumin on top of that. Not a ton, but cumin is your friend. It's awesome. Okay, and then we're gonna take some of the shredded cheese. We used some on the inside, but we're gonna put a little bit on top. It gives it a nice look when it's all done. Yeah, and there you go. So that's the end of it. So now we're gonna stick it in the oven. Again, we got it on about 400. That's gonna give it some nice, some nice texture when it's all done. It'll kind of crisp it up. So then the last thing we're gonna do while the stuff's baking in the oven, we're gonna make some guacamole. So start with a bunch of avocado. This is about one and a half. Uh, you can use as much as you need. Uh, and just mash it up with a fork. And then we're gonna show you what else to do with it. So that's what it looks like all mashed up. If you got some feta, uh, that's, that gives a nice saltiness, so I put a little bit of feta in there. And uh, we did a bunch of like um, cilantro earlier, and I cut up a bit more for the guacamole. Cilantro and guacamole, just, what can I say? It's magic. Okay, so get all that in there. And then uh, if you got a, a fresh lemon, which I do not, uh, squeeze a fresh lemon, or well, not the whole thing, but maybe about two or three slices of it. Or in this case, put in some, some lemon juice. That's really important. It keeps the avocado from going brown after. And then the one last ingredient, well, not last ingredient, but another ingredient that I like putting in is uh, a bit of sour cream. And we had our tomatilia stuff earlier that we put on the inside. This is really, really good on the uh, inside of the guacamole. Okay, you don't need too much of that. And then just... Uh, you want some more cumin. Again, cumin's your friend. And then some ground up black pepper. And then just mix it all together and then you're done. That's what it looks like. Looks gross, tastes fantastic. And by this time your beverage is probably almost done so I better replenish that. Let's see how they turned out. Oh, that looks good. If you wanna meet me, don't go to a bar.